So we decided to build a retaining wall in our backyard. This retaining wall is about 75 feet long and two, two and a half feet tall. It will essentially match the other retaining wall behind it. Let's get started. So we'll need some access to the backyard for the excavator. So once the excavator got to the backyard, it began digging for the footing. So the technique is to remove some more dirt, maybe another four or five inches from the back. Then afterwards, come back and dig about a six inch trench that runs the entire span of the retaining wall. It will be six inches deep and two feet wide, which is plenty of room for the rebarb. The rebarb is placed in the trench to provide added strength for the concrete footing. Okay, we're all done with the excavator. So after having the footing dug with a the machine, they added rebarb and then concrete. And here's the rebarb they installed that runs about 75 feet. The concrete mixer would not fit in our backyard. So they attached a long hose and just pumped it in. So the company that we used to build our retaining wall is Silverstone Contracting Incorporated and the owner is Corey Westover. His company is in Las Vegas. We are not endorsing any company. However, Corey and his crew did a great job. And if you live in Las Vegas and you need a retaining wall, give Corey a call for a free estimate. We'll put his contact information in the description below. So after the concrete is poured, they lay the first set of bricks into the wet concrete. When setting the first layer of bricks, it's very important to get them level as possible. If that first set of bricks is not level, then the rest of the wall will not be level. It was really fun watching these masonaries work. It's almost like an art form. So after they get that first layer of bricks set in the concrete, they then start with the corners of the wall. They're gonna start with the right side, that corner first, and they're gonna build it up all the way to the fourth layer. Then they're gonna to go to the left side of the wall and do the same thing, build it up to the fourth layer. This was day one. So once the corners were done, they'll let that dry overnight and come back and finish the wall the next day. So between the first and second layer of bricks, they drilled holes and added PVC pipe. And they spaced these about eight or nine feet apart. These holes are designed for drainage for the back of the wall. And remember to hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Okay, this is day two. And they're starting the second layer of bricks. And if you look closely, you can see those holes where the PVC pipe is. Like I said, that's for the drainage.
And now we're on to the third layer of bricks. The wall is starting to take shape and it looks really good. And this wall will match the back walls. Probably look even better. Okay, now only a couple more bricks and we're done. Looks great. Now to waterproof this wall, they coated the back of the wall with a black tar. They also added a plastic bib that ran the span of the wall. And then they placed rocks on top of that bib. This allows for drainage. Then after they left, I took my shovel and just backfilled the wall. I had a lot of dirt from that slope that I could put into the backfill. This took about two days, mainly because it was very hot. After waterproofing and backfilling the wall, we added some nice decorative plants and irrigation. Then we added rocks that matched the rest of our landscaping. And the rock we used is 3 quarters Vista Gold. This process took one day to complete. Now we're all done. And once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe. It's free.